God, will you look at this? Look at the spray. I love it up here. Okay, here comes another one. <laughs> so I'm up here, I'm shooting down into this awesome crevasse where the ocean's coming in and we just found this spot and I'm sitting up here. I found myself a comfy position where I'm gonna stay high and dry. But every time a wave comes in here, it's hitting these rock walls so hard that the spray is coming all the way up here. And on top of that, I actually have these gorgeous, like orangish yellow walls across from me. And I just got really wet. <laughs> the spray is coming that high. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's coming up and it's like splashing against the walls. And every time it comes up, I have a chance to get a shot. I'm doing high speed photography. I've got it at ISO 3200 um, because it's kind of overcast. So I need a little extra ISO in order to um, get a really fast shutter speed so I can get the shot. And then each time one of those really big waves come in, I just have to be ready when it pops up. So I'm gonna see what shutter, uh, what shutter speed I need, what aperture I need. Uh, I'm gonna use like something narrow. I'm gonna use a 5.6 aperture with this lens. I have a, a 70 to 200 millimeter lens to get me out there where I wanna be with a 1.4X extender. So <laughs> every time the waves come up, I'm shooting. I also have uh, a, this on the front of my lens and all that's doing right now is, is keeping the, um, the spray off my lens a little and then I have my trusty cleanser and uh, you know, I gotta keep it clean in there because this stuff is just you know, coming up in the air and blowing all over me and I'm covered in salt and spray. This is what I love about photography. This is what it's all about. I could do this every day, all the time and be the happiest person in the world. <laughs> okay, so I focus on these rocks down here. Try and keep my focus just a little bit closer than those most distant rocks. So instead of focusing really low, focusing just a little higher on the rocks. Once I have my focus set, I just put it in manual. There's nothing I can do if the focus isn't perfect every time and I'm not worried about it. The next step is to get my shutter speed set. And it looks to me like I can set my shutter speed at just about 1 6400th of a second. That's fast. But this stuff is flying through the air, so I have to get it just right. I also want it in high speed um, so that my shutter release will fire, 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 fire several times. Right? Okay. Test shot. Oh, not fast enough. I missed it. I'm turning my camera to the side like this because as that spray comes up, it's going right into the lens. So I'm gonna wait for another one. Here it comes. Ready to shoot. Okay, no good. Too dark, underexposed. So now what I'm getting is you think it's underexposed, but in, in reality, when these shots come up, they're actually overexposed because the water droplets are too, um, are too bright against the dark rock behind. And I'll go through these one at a time as I work, and I'm checking to see how my focus looks. Oops, see if I have enough depth, depth of field in here. I wanna make sure that the, the photos that I'm capturing have enough detail and are sharp enough. I need more depth of field, so I'm gonna go in. I want, I think I'm gonna go up to 16. Nah, let's make that, let's go to 11, or 13. That's good, I like 13. Okay, test shot again. You could do this all day. This is a long way down. Awesome. <laughs> I 
That's what I live for. Nice. Oh yeah, I've got some beautiful details in here. Gorgeous, sharp, crazy.